Hey guys, so this is a quick tip basically for fly tying. So I was actually uh, looking up videos and I watched some fly tying videos uh, from other people and whatnot and there's some really good ones out there. Um, honestly, a lot that I think are better than mine. Um, but this, this one I watched of this guy giving a tip of how to make um, your own dubbing. I thought it was pretty cool. So I went out and gave it a try and uh, you know, um, I kind of changed up every a little bit of it and I kind of like this method a little better. But um, uh, you know, it was really cool. So I want to give credit where credit is due. Um, it was a guy by the, um, a channel by the name of Piss Gator Flies or something like that. I'll put a link down at the in the description section if you want to check that video out from him. Now he used wool. So what basically what he did is he took um, yarn, basically, and he also took, he called it, um, Angelina fiber, um, but basically it's kind of like, like the Starburst dubbing, it's kind of close to the same thing, but it, it's basically a, like a stripped, really fine strip tinsel that turned into dubbing. Um, but I'm just going to use this because it's what I have. Now you could buy Angelina fiber, but it comes huge containers and it's, it's a little pricey, uh, but you get a lot of it. I just don't need that much and I'm not making tons of dubbing so uh, this will work for me but I got this because I had multiple different colors and I actually got a few others uh, but I like the multiple colors so I'm not having to buy I mean I'm not going to use all of this you know um, I did buy one and my wife had some already that I tested it with uh, so anyway let's get started so what what you do is you just cut off whatever color you want right so I've got you know this amount and you can kind of see how much it's going to make it fluffs up a little bit more so that's about right and I've made some already. This is uh, the dubbing, and it's, you know, this is a lot like laser dub. So actually, that guy's name uh, video was uh, DIY laser dub. Only thing is, he was using wool. You know, I looked up the properties of laser dub. It was great stuff. I mean, this is stuff I made from, from that. Um, but the properties of laser dub are not wool. It's not wool. It's a, it's a um, acrylic fiber, basically. You know, and I'm sure wool gives awesome property, but it's going to be a little different then laser dub, it's not actually laser dub. And if I'm trying to make laser dub, which that's what I was going for, um, it, you know, this I think is gonna work a little better. It's 100% acrylic. Basically, you, you wrap it up into whatever length fibers you want. And this is about right for me. I make some, uh, um, you know, longer uh, um, streamers with it. In fact, here's one I just tied, just kind of testing it out. Uh, it's pretty cool. I'll probably make a video about this soon. Um, you know, the color, I probably should have done different colors, but I really like this, and there's the fiber, how it works out. Pretty nice. A lot like laser dust, almost identical. So, there we go. Um, and you can see, usually I'm, you know, doubling this up, so it's a little long. I'm going to cut this. I don't need all of it. So there we go. That's about the length I'm looking for, but you can always make it longer or shorter. And some of the fibers are going to be shorter than others, but generally a lot of them are going to be roughly that length. Then you take these two uh, dog hair brushes, okay? You basically put those fibers, or the, the yarn right there. And then you add, if you want, you can add some sparkle, okay? And I like a lot of sparkle. I find that these are just a little long for my needs, so I, uh, I'm going to cut those in half. And then you just do this. You kind of turn it into dubbing. Really simple. You can see we've already got some pieces still here, but you know, I'm going to keep on doing this. So there we go, we have basically um, laser dub, that's what this is. You can see the fibers are relatively long enough to make, uh, you know, some uh, streamers, right? Let's get a little more. Now you can make it shorter or longer. Um, for my needs, that's about the right length. That's pretty cool. 
It's almost perfect. And so you've got, you know, you can make multiple colors, especially with this, you can actually blend the different colors together. So if I wanted something like a little more olive, I could put some of the olive in there, um, like that maybe, some brown. Um, you know, you can blend the different colors together. Um, I think it's pretty cool. There we go. And you can always just stick it in a plastic bag. And that right there, just that little bit of, you know, that's about what you get in a bag of uh, dubbing whenever you get it from a place. So that's enough to last quite a bit of time. It took me maybe two or three minutes. So yeah, I think this is a really cool technique. And the reason why I'm showing you guys this, um, I don't want to take the credit from someone else. It wasn't me that made this uh, idea. Someone else kind of came up with it. I don't know if he's the original. original creator of the idea, but um, it kind of seems to work really well. And I want to show you because I plan on tying this fly up next and I wanted to use this dubbing. So there we go. I'm really excited about this stuff, guys. It's uh, it is a, it's really cool. Um, so, I mean, you, you look, I've got multiple different colors um, right now. I kind of did that, you know, it took me about 20 minutes to make all these. I've only got a couple right now, but I'm going to work on, you know, some pink and, and whatnot and make myself multiple different dubbing colors. You can also go, again, you can go shorter, make shorter strands. So, you know, you could actually, if you wanted to really spend the effort, you could label them and say this is for, you know, larger streamers, shorter strands, whatnot. Pretty cool. And it's really fine, really soft. I mean, it's just really nice stuff, easy to work with. It's just really, really nice. Um, it's just nice stuff. So, there we go. Leave your comments in the comment section and let me know what you think about this, about these short little uh, kind of technique videos. Um, you know, there's kind of nothing new under the sun. I'm not the only one that, that thinks of these ideas. Um, in fact, I, I think of them very rarely. You know, I try to search uh, new techniques and whatnot online a lot. So um, if I find one I think is awesome, I'm going to say it. But I will always try to, to um, credit the originator. So I'll put his link at the bottom of the, the video here. And if you, uh, if you want, check out this fly. It's really awesome. It was working really well for smallmouth bass when I went fishing on that boat um, one of my last trips. So uh, check that out. Thanks, guys.